member of the popular rap group Migos has been shot and killed. Oh, I'm done. I can't live like this no more. The rap industry has been struck with another senseless shooting and killing. And this time it hit closer than you could imagine. Migos rapper Takeoff was shot and killed at a bowling alley in Houston. Not only is his death tragic, but the reason why he was killed is one of the most heartbreaking things you'll ever come across. Keep watching till the end of this video to see why Takeoff was really shot and killed. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Takeoff shot and killed. At about 2.40 a.m. on November 1st, 2022, the Houston Police Department received calls that three people had been shot and one person was fatally injured at a bowling alley in downtown Houston. According to reports, the bowling alley located at 810 Billiards and Bowling was hosting a private Halloween party when the shooting broke out. Before full details of what really went down hit the media, the Houston Police Department shared a tweet saying, Downtown officers are on a shooting at 1200 Polk. One victim was found deceased upon arrival, Hugh News CC9. By the time the officers arrived at the scene, they had reported that there was a crowd and a man with a gunshot wound was seen lying on the ground in a pool of his own blood. They pronounced the man dead on the scene. They further reported that 40 to 50 people were at the location of the shooting and two other people who sustained injuries were taken to nearby hospitals in private cars. At the time, they didn't reveal who the victims of the tragic incident were, but the witness had already spread the word on social media. The police only revealed that Migo members Takeoff and Quavo were in attendance at the party when the shooting happened, but they didn't say whether Takeoff was the man who was shot and killed. In a tweet, the Houston Police Department said, Update, two other victims taken in private vehicles to hospitals. Media partners, we are not releasing the identity of the deceased victim until his family is notified and ID is verified by the Harris County Institute of Forensic Sciences. Any updates on the incident will be posted here. Hours before the police spoke about it on Twitter, several videos made it to the internet showing a group of people in an arena and the body of a man lying in a pool of blood. The man in the video wore the same clothes as Takeoff hours before the shooting. TMZ, however, confirmed that Takeoff was, in fact, the one shot and killed in Houston. According to the reports from TMZ, Takeoff and Quavo were there playing dice when an altercation broke out. And that's when someone opened fire, shooting takeoff either in the head or near his head. He was pronounced dead on the scene. However, sources at the scene revealed more details of what went down. According to these sources, takeoff wasn't the person playing the dice game. Apparently, his uncle and fellow Migos, Quavo, were playing the dice game and he wasn't winning the game. He became aggressive with the people he was playing with. Things got messy as tempers got high and in no time shots were fired. Takeoff, who wasn't even playing the game, received one of those shots, and it wasn't until his body dropped to the ground that they realized he was hit. Footage obtained from the scene showed rapper Quavo in an orange shirt and others gathered around Takeoff. At first, they tried to move him, but then put him back down, and Quavo yelled for someone to get help. But unfortunately, it was too late for Takeoff. Investigators are working to determine further what led up to the shooting. Rappers and fans react to Takeoff's death. Takeoff's death was a huge blow to the rap community and the world. Rappers and fans alike have trooped into social media to share their condolences with the family. Rapper Bow Wow posted via Twitter, Knopf is the partner gone way too soon. We was just at Magic and Kevin Hart show together. This beyond unreal. Hashtag Gwinnett legend. Hashtag take. London on the track tweeted, Long live takeoff, be out here. Rapper DeBrat shared via her Instagram, OMG, my guy, I so don't want this to be true. He was such a good dude. This sucks. Please pray for his family and loved ones. Like this man's life is gone cause of something to do with a damn dice game. Rapper designer who was shaken by the tragic death of Takeoff took to his Instagram live to share a video saying that he was done with the rap industry. In the shared video, designer was seen in tears as he said, I can't call Qua, I can't call Offset, I can't call none of these. The rapper was still in tears when he started yelling, I'm done, I'm done, I can't live like this no more. Done! It's done! It's done! That thing take off, bro! It's done! Fellow quality control rapper and a member of the City Girls, Young Miami, took to her Twitter to post a series of heartbreak emojis with the words, Damn, take off. 
Lloyd Banks tweeted, Rest in peace, take off. My condolences to his family and close friends. Very dope artist, gone too soon. DJ First Class also tweeted, saying, Rest in paradise, take off. F man, this just hit hard. And I'm trying to grasp words to say, but I can't. Asides from rappers, some fans also shared their reactions to the tragic incident on social media. One media user wrote, R.I.P. Takeoff. That was sickening to see that happen to you. He minded his business the whole night. I'm sick. Another user wrote, Condolences to Takeoff's family. This is beyond sad to be killed in a senseless situation with so much success. The Mugos fight over dice. The news of Takeoff dying over a dice game has been one of the saddest incidents to hit the media. But sadly, this wasn't the first time a member of the Migos had an issue over the dice game. Although rapper Offset is no longer a part of the Migos, he once got into an altercation over a dice game that saw him get beat up till he was stripped naked. In March 2020, rumors of the beef between Offset and Lil Baby were off the charts. The beef between the two rappers at the time was so bad that Lil Baby allegedly sent his 4PF goons to beat up Offset. The alleged attack was captured on camera, which was taken from a distance, and was recorded at the popular Atlanta night spot compound. The viral video showed a group of people rushing towards someone the media believes to be Offset. People were certain that the man being attacked was him because the aggressors began screaming, What's up, Off? In no time, the area got rowdy with some stuff which looked like shoes being thrown in the air. At the end of the video, someone who is said to be Lil Baby was seen pacing back and forth looking frustrated. He then scolded his entourage. The baby. The, the, the baby. However, Lil Baby denied that he was involved in the altercation. The Drip Too Hard rapper addressed the issue on his Instagram story, writing, Stop spreading fake news. That's fake. Please. Shortly after the video of Offset getting beat up went viral, more info about what really went down hit the media. According to reports, Offset and 4PF rapper 42 Doug played a game of rolling dice in the studio, and Offset lost. Offset reportedly lost over $50,000 over the game, and when he asked 42 Doug for some of the money back, 42 Doug replied saying, F no, I don't know you like that. The arguments between Offset and 42 Doug got heated, and members of the 4PF were forced to intervene. They reportedly beat Offset up. Luckily for him, the Quality Control CEO, Pierre P. Thomas, was on the premises, and he was able to save him by throwing him into a vehicle and taking him off the scene. Offset was lucky he wasn't killed in that altercation. Which of Takeoff's verses did you like the most? Join the conversation and let us know in the comments section below. That's the end of today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more content. Thanks.